Welcome back to my travel channel. Here are the top 10 activities you can do in Batam. Barlan Bridge is one of the most iconic sites in Batam and people flock here in the late afternoon for the photo opportunities. This bridge actually links main Batam Island with adjacent Galang Island. If possible, try to go around sunset for the best vistas across the water. This temple is one of the most serene ways to enjoy Batam and is the place to come if you want to find some inner peace. Devotees usually here burn incense for good luck and you can enjoy the colorful and elegant Buddha statues here. One of the good things about the temple is that there are few cafes nearby and you can buy a range of delicious vegetarian food including buns and snacks in the shapes of cute animals. There are a number of islands around central Batam that are perfect for day trips and one of these is stunning Mubut Darat Island. I have done a separate video about this island, you can watch in my YouTube channel. This island has options to eat, variety of seafood, can do fishing, walk around and mingle with the sea. You will have to take a boat to reach this island which is around 20 minutes. Batam is also known for its seafood which is again is far cheaper than Singapore and other parts of Southeast Asia. Some of the top picks for seafood in the city include CNM Seafood Restaurant as well as Rasiki Seafood Restaurant at Harbour Bay Seafood. If you are looking for signature dishes then try the chili crab which is famous in the region as well as black pepper crab and snacks like crunchy calamari. Nongsa Beach is one of the best places to visit if you are in Batam and looking for some sand. The beach has a relaxed atmosphere and is less crowded than some other places in the island. It is also close to a range of amenities and you will find an array of eateries lining the beach that are great sport if you are a fan of a sport dinner or a drink while watching the sunset. Ocarina Park is a great place to come with all the family members and is a large entertainment complex which also includes the Ocarina Water Park. The park has a range of signature features including a large ferris wheel and you will find a range of rides for children and all ages as well as adults. Certainly if you are looking for a place with a range of attractions all in one place then this is a great choice. Batam is well known for having cheap alcohol, particularly compared to neighboring Singapore. It is also one of the liveliest parts of Indonesia if you are looking for some exciting nightlife scene. The main area of bars and clubs is known as Nagoya Entertainment District or just as a short form NED. And you can easily spend a night on the town here enjoying the local Indonesian beer Bintang or having a cocktail. There are vast selections of spas and massages in Batam Center as they cater mostly for hordes of tourists. But this would also mean plenty of choices to get a good and affordable ones. The traditional Balinese massage is one of the things to do and it costs around 25 Singapore dollar. Batam is the perfect spot to get your paddy certificate cheaply. Some of the best places to dive in here located offshore from the Batam Island and include Abang, Hatu and Pentong Island. And visibility here amazingly clear so you will be able to take range of underwater creatures. And this is a top spot if you like marine photography. Batam is an island but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have a wealth of shopping malls to visit. And actually shopping is the number one pastime for many visitors here. The Nagoya Hill shopping mall has the claim to fame of being biggest mall in the city and you will find a full range of items here such as branded clothes and accessories. Other malls include Mega Mall, Batam Center and BCS Mall. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos.